beginning of this project, I was trying to come up with an idea on what I could do, trying to figure out something that I could do for the project. Um, but I, after all the thought, I realized I want to make it something about my future career plans of being a firefighter. So I went down to the Bow Fire Station and talked with Captain Harrington to see if there was anything that the department needed done that I could make my senior project. And after speaking with him, we came up with the idea um, of a organizational binder for all the equipment that the department has. So the key concept for my project was organization. I had to figure out a way to compile everything into one binder, all the equipment they had. If someone's organized and they need to find the paper, they can just go into their organized folder and go to the corresponding section and find it right there. If someone isn't organized, they, it's more like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Well, I found that out at the beginning of this year. Anytime I got a paper back, I would just toss it loosely into my backpack, not giving it a second thought. Well, that worked for about the first two weeks of school, until I found myself flipping through a growing stack of paper every day trying to find the one assignment that was due. This resulted in most of my work either being turned in late or not at all. Um, this continued for most of the first quarter. What really made me change my plan of organization was I went to go find a chemistry lab, and I flipped through the stack ten times, couldn't find it. And as I was flipping through, I realized the stack had grown something like this. So I wasn't going to let this happen the second quarter. I wanted to get organized, get my stuff together, make sure my senior project could be as as it could be. So I went out, I got an organizer, and I sorted through my work, and tried to become organized. Organization isn't just beneficial for physical documents, it's also very helpful for your online work. These days, it's becoming more and more common for popular, or more and more popular for assignments to be turned in online, whether it's uploaded to Google Classroom or to Google Drive, shared on Google Drive. But as many of us know, trying to find the research paper that's due, whether to print it off or turn it in on one of those sites, and all of this, is much more difficult than trying to find it in this. For this project, this was my Google Drive. Everything just one big list. Every grade uh, so far, every class, just everything in one spot. So, Using the organization, I figured clean everything up. So now each grade and each course has its own folder. The main idea of this project was to come up with a way for members of the fire department to study and learn the, where the equipment is that's stored. To make this study tool as effective as possible, as opposed to just having a list of what equipment is, I went and I photographed each compartment, then I listed what equipment was stored in that compartment, and then I added numbers uh, corresponding to the list. The first page of each uh, vehicle looked like this, labeling each what each compartment was. And then I went into each compartment corresponding with Page, or first page of the vehicle and listed everything inside. I've gone through both fire department's equipment and done this for engine one, engine three, tanker one, tanker three, ambulance one, ambulance two, rescue one, forestry one, and forestry trailer, as well as the fire truck. Because I took pictures of every piece of equipment, I've collected just under 600 photos of both fire department's equipment. Just the sheer number of pictures at times was a little overwhelming, so I organized them into categories. First, into the different vehicles, then into the compartments of those vehicles. This project helped me immensely with learning both fire department's equipment and where it is stored. This gives me an advantage, so when I join the department in February, I already know where the equipment is. So, making it easier to find the equipment if needed during an emergency. 
In talking with paramedic Elliot Berman, he said, there's nothing more frustrating than someone who doesn't know where equipment is. And I feel like this would really emphasize the point of how this binder would help the members of the department. The reason I thought this would be a useful productive project was when new members join the department, they can use this study tool to get to know and familiarize themselves with the equipment and where it's stored so they can access it without having to double think or think twice about it. As I was going through everything, all the equipment, I wanted to see what it used to look like back years ago. So my research topic was, how has firefighting equipment changed in the past 50 years? Through my research, I found a whole new appreciation for the newer and lightweight advanced equipment fire service uses now. Trying to use the heavy, unwieldy equipment from years past would just create more challenges for firefighters nowadays. Such as the air packs firefighters use. Now, they're made of aluminum and composite, very lightweight and portable, easy to use. Compared to the old air packs, which were made completely out of steel, very heavy and hard to maneuver with. Or, the jaws of life. Hydraulic tool used to cut or pry open a vehicle that's been in a collision. Before this tool, firefighters would have to use hand tools, therefore using up precious time that could be used helping the injured victim inside. Throughout this project, it required lots of planning, contacting, and scheduling with the members of the Boat Fire Department. I had to meet with them, schedule times, to be down at the station if they got called out. I had to have someone there helping with me, or helping me so I can be with a member of the department. So it gave me a lot to realize that the real world, you gotta talk to people. It's not just do whatever you want as it is in school. You just kind of do your homework and then go home and have fun. I also got a chance to ride with the Bow Fire Department for two days, my community connection. And it gave me a first-hand look into what I would be doing as a member of the Bow Fire Department. Going on the ambulance, helping people, fire calls, etc. So, I leave all of you with this question. How much more would you have done if you were just a little bit more organized?